winter storms caused an awful lot of damage, and so some of the beaches are off limits. Those nor'easters wrecked dunes up and down the coast and even wiped out a popular restaurant. WBZ's Bill Shields has now the race to recover ahead of the unofficial start to summer. A spectacular day on Cape Cod. Nosset Beach was sparkling, and the town of Orleans has rebuilt the dunes that washed away in March. The Nosset Beach that people remember certainly isn't going to be the Nosset Beach for this season. The plan going, you know, forward that we had in place prior to those storms that we're going to need to fast track now is to build a storm the length. Of, I mean, sorry, build a dune the length of this parking lot. The March storms brutalized the outer Cape. Four nor'easters in a row. Miles of dunes washed away, as did Liam's, a clam shack that has survived 28 winters at Nosset Beach. Fundraiser. Now the owner yes. sees the destruction of Liam's as a day. warning. Liam's is a victim of global warming. I look at Liam's and the destruction of that building as a as a the um, the canary in the coal mine. I think it's going to happen more and more. You're going to see you're going to see an island in Truro pretty soon. Where Liam's once stood, the town is putting up picnic tables, and they planted grass in the new dunes to help anchor them. But visitors weren't quite sure they'll hold. It won't last. No, no, but bad news. It's going to leave. There's going to be no beach. Someone said today what's going on on Cape Cod is kind of like guerrilla warfare. You fight, you retreat, you fight, you retreat. Seems like a pretty good analogy. At Nauset Beach, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Certainly going to miss Liam's there. That was a great place. I know, an institution. Yeah.